It's a uh, Wednesday morning, about 4 a.m. And yep, uh, we're up. Um, I was headed to bed, and uh, me and the Cheetah, we we had we got our snacks, we headed to bed, and uh, son of a bitch, if we didn't get stuck in the hard corner. Well, that can only mean one thing. It means we're here to do Sean Patrick Urshan's 800 subscriber contest. Uh, that's right, Sean. Uh, 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 Sean, who hosts the Horror Corner, which is one of my favorite introductions of all of our our community. I I think it kicks ass. Um, he is he just is having eight hundred subscriber contest. Um, I'm very happy to say that he already smashed that mark. So this is more like a celebration of that. Um, so congratulations, Sean. Uh, as I film this with me and Godzilla. Uh, you have 811 uh, subscribers, so congratulations for that. And uh, we are happy and honored to be able to, to throw an entry into uh, your contest. Um, you asked us four questions, and one of them was a bit of a trick question, which I really liked. Uh, so yeah, you asked us four questions to talk about. You asked us, what was the name, and you should have known better than, than ask someone like me this question, right? Um, you asked us, what was the name of the Ripley's cat in the movie Alien? Well, being that I own a cheetah, and I'm known as a crazy cat guy, uh, that would be Jonesy, uh, a big orange tabby. That was Jonesy. Jonesy was pretty kick-ass, too. I didn't like it they had him killed off in later movies. I was I was booing and hissing at that. Um, second question is a very interesting one. It's a subjective question. And you asked us, how would you like to see the end of the Halloween franchise play out? Um, wow, there's a lot of ways you could end that. Um, you know, you, you want to keep the cash cow going. You don't kill him. Um, uh, I know a lot of people think that Lori and Michael should, you know, fight to the death. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. I don't think Laurie should die in in the Halloween movies. I think she should kill him like they had her do before. Uh, I think it was H2O where she chopped off his head. I thought that was the perfect ending, honestly. It, it, it should be that way um, since Loomis is already dead. I do think that Laurie should be the one to kill him, um, and he should die. The, the franchise should end on a high note. I think a lot of people would be really satisfied to see that happen. So that's how I would have it. Uh, number three, you asked us, how did Dracula uh, die in Dracula Has Risen from the Grave? Uh, which is a famous Hammer film. And uh, yeah, you're right. That's one of the most infamous ways that Dracula has bought the farm. And he bought the farm by... Uh, by being thrown over a wall or a parpet and falling onto a cross that was uh, impaled on a cross that the main, the leading lady uh, threw uh, over the wall. And uh, he fought uh, the young lover uh, um, and uh, uh, the lady, Paul, Paul, Paul Maria. Okay, yeah, okay. So Paul fought Dracula. Uh, he fell over the, the wall. And fell onto the cross. And was impaled. And then he uh, burnt out with the sun. Or uh, went to dust. The, the, the fourth question is the interesting question. You asked us how many films did uh, Dario Argento direct the Goblin support for? Um, so the, the proper question is five. It's, five. it's five movies that Argento and Goblin teamed up. But it's actually six, because George Romero uh, hired uh, uh, Dario Argento on Dawn of the Dead, uh, and and Argento in turn turned around and hired Goblin to do the score. Now, how much did Argento actually direct? I don't know. If he did any second unit directing, that would count as being a part of directing the film, technically, technically. I mean, George Romero's name's in the credits, but if Argento filmed second unit action, 
and he hit Argento, it would be six. So, again, I guess it all depends how you see it. So, those are the, well, those are my answers. Um, so, uh, I'd like to en encourage everybody to go and visit Sean Patrick Urshan. Uh, hopefully you, uh, uh, hopefully you'll do better than us and not get lost in the horror corner. Uh, <laughs> you would think with a cheetah, I would never get lost there, but I do. Uh, so Sean is a great guy. I love his channel. Uh, he's a great supporter of the community. Um, really nice guy. He does his own horror hangouts too, uh, that he pops up once in a while. Uh, he's actually done some celebrity interviews. Uh, he interviewed a young lady that had appeared, uh, he played, she played the older sister that was killed in the very first Halloween movie, um, and he had her on an interview, you can check that out, actually, I will post that down along with his channel, so you can go see it, um, you can see the interview, in fact, I gotta post that in the midnight hour, uh, room, I'm gonna do that, uh, I'm gonna post the interview to Sean that he did with the young lady, uh, and for the first Halloween movie, forgive me for not knowing her name, but I'm going to post that in the Midnight Hour Facebook group, which I will also put down in the description box, so you can go check that out. All right, uh, congratulations again, Sean, and from me and the Big G, and, uh, well, the cheetah was around here somewhere. Uh, peace. <laughs>